This is the patch overview for May 5th, 2015. In this patch, we have the Community Warfare map Vitric Forge, a new champion Jagermech, as well as improvements to the user interface. First up in today's patch is the new Community Warfare map Vitric Forge. The terrain on this scorched ore of a blood-red corundum offers only sparse cover and is devoid of obvious approach paths. Attackers will have to adopt fire and maneuver or leapfrogging tactics, as there is no hope for advancing without some exposure. Next up is the Narc HUD indicator. No longer will you have to call out when your ally is narked. Now a small indicator will appear on the bottom left of your HUD. New in the store is the Champion Jagermech A. It comes equipped with a pair of Ultra Autocannon 5s, Quad SRM 6s, and a top speed of 64.8 kph, 71.3 after speed tweak from its XL260 engine. While it has some great firepower, especially up close, the design is under-armored on the CT and legs, and you may find yourself running dry on UAC ammo with only 3 tons for the two cannons. Also, for those who are pre-ordered Clan Wave 3, month 2 and 3 rewards of premium time and cockpit items have been injected into your accounts. The process to create a private match has been changed, with a new button in the social menu. You can now create a private match directly from here, and the dialogue window that occurred when pressing play now has been removed. Because of this, hitting play now will take you directly to searching for a match. And finally, there have been multiple bug fixes. These include weapons with a max range over 1500 meters, registering their damage correctly at those extreme ranges, and improved collisions on HPG manifold buildings. Thank you for watching this patch overview. Good hunting, mech warriors.